that day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, the 20th Nature and Culture of Manzur Festival to be held in their sim has been cancelled. Ruben Safratian, it is impossible to sign any document on Artsakh and not withdraw from the negotiation process. Artsakh is seriously wounded and its healing is a super task for all Armenians. Today is the day of liberation of Akna, a silent witness to the genocide their sim stroke 38. Turkey occupied Cyprus for 48 years. Ankara confirmed Armenia's conditions. As we reported earlier, the 20th festival entitled Nature and Culture of Manzur was to be held in the city of Dersim in Western Armenia. The government of Dersim imposed certain bans for the festival participants, which caused dissatisfaction with the organizer and participants. The organizing committee of the festival protesting against the prohibitions of the administration of Dersim decided to cancel the festival in the center of Dersim. Thousands of people who arrived in the city for the festival marched against the bans imposed by the governor. The mayor of Dersim, Fatih Mehmet Mashoglu, the president of the Federation of Alevis Mustafa Arslan and representative of various parties of NGOs made protest statements. In their speech, they mainly demand the population in their sim, as well as respect and understanding of the culture and beliefs of different peoples. The organizers of the march expressed gratitude to all those who organized the festival. On Western Armenia TV, Turkeologist Ruben Safratian spoke about the hidden sides of Armenian-Turkish relations, noting Turkey's real intention in the region. Turkey's super goal is to force the Republic of Armenia to recognize Artsakh as Azerbaijan territory. After solving this problem, Turkey will demand to forget the issue of genocide, which is being addressed in stages. According to Mr. Safratian, such a thing cannot be allowed and it is necessary to act in a case with a strong and flexible diplomacy, so that Turkey cannot achieve its goal. The Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Artsakh, David Babayan, wrote on his Facebook page, Artsakh is seriously wounded and its healing is a super task for all Armenians. The future of entire Armenian people depends on the fate of Artsakh. Artsakh is facing threats and despite all dangers and difficulties, there are all opportunities to save the country and ensure the secure future. This requires a patriotic and professional approach not only to work but also to live in general. Western Armenia stands firmly by the side of the people living in Artsakh and is ready to defend their rights in international interests. Instances. From the very beginning of the first Artsakh war, Ahdam became a strategic point of Azerbaijan, from where the capital Stepanakert and adjacent territories were constantly bombed. Back in 1991, on February 23rd, without any resistance, the Azerbaijan seized the military basis of Force Army of the Soviet Armed Forces stationed in Ahdam after the liberation of Shushi in order to ensure the security of Stepanakert, as well as the settlement of adjacent to Ahdam. The Artsakh self-defense forces were asked with eliminating the Ahdam military bases from where the enemy periodically shared Armenian settlements. On July 4th, Armenian forces launched an operation to liberate Ahdam, as a result of which the spread of shelling of Stepanakert, Askeran and nearby villages was eliminated. On July 23, 1992, Ahdam, along with the surrounding villages, came under the control of Defense Army of Republic of Artsakh. As a result of the 44-day Artsakh War in 2020, the Azerbaijanis captured Ankhna. In 1990s, the struggle for freedom in Artsakh was crowned with success because the military spirit was high. Despite the absence of regular army volunteers, were able to perform the task assigned to them with such precision, thanks to which the fighting was crowned with success. It was that time that the volunteers actively trained the Armenian martial art of high jumpa, which stimulated the concentration of the mind and the correct direction of the force. The village of Halvori in Dersim in Western Armenia is famous for its natural beauty, rocks and streams. As in many regions, Halvori witnessed great suffering during the massacre in Dersim. This place is popularly called 38 rocks, which were subjected to air and ground attacks. The only reason for these attacks and murders of people was that on March 21, 1938, the Hindara and Deman tribes were attacked by Power Bridge, after which the leaders of several tribes, including Seyit Rojan and Menjur River and Halvori, swore to resist military actions. On August 16, 1960, after many years of British colonization, the Republic of Cyprus was proclaimed with Archbishop Makari as president and the head of the Turkish minority community, Fazil Kuchuk, as vice president. In the middle of 1938, a situation was created in Ireland when the administration of the Turkish community became a de facto state within a state. On July 20, 1978, the invasion of Cyprus by the Turkish army began as a result of which the island was divided into two parts, Greek and Turkish, under the name Cyprus Pre 
military's operation, Turkey occupied about 38% of the island's territory, where in 1988 Ankara created an artificial state entity, Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, recognized so far only by Ankara. After the occupation of Northern Cyprus, the Turks destroyed cultural heritage, including a number of Armenian cultural monuments. In particular, the Mankaravang in the northern part of Cyprus was completely destroyed. The Cyprus problem still remains unsolved. The attempts at peaceful settlement of the problem and the reunification of the two parts of the island have not led to any result. After the meeting, Rais Putin and Erdogan in Tehran, where the Iranian side again raised the issue of inadmissibility of changing the border with Armenia in front of Putin and Erdogan, Turkish Foreign Minister Çavuşoğlu said in an interview with Turkish state television that though the Armenian-Turkish process is proceeding at a bilateral level, but in fact it is a trilateral process since they everything is coordinated with Baku. This is a reality, regardless of whether the residents of Armenia like it or not. We are one nation, two states, Çavuşoğlu said. Thus, despite a settlement of Armenian and Turkish officials about their normalization of relations without preconditions. Çavuşoğlu actually declares Turkish preconditions related to the requirement and interest of Baku. At the same time, they are part of broader packages of Turkish preconditions, in particular hinting at the Armenian Turkish Delimitation Commission. The Turkish side raises the issue of upgrading the Turkish Russian Treaty of 1921 cars with wider application, including recognition of Artsakh and Nahijevan as belonging to Baku. Western Armenia qualifies this statement of Turkey as depraved, noting that a country has also occupied the territory of Western Armenia for a century, not allowing indigenous people to live and create on their own land. Now musical part Armenian folk song. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.